So I have this plan of mounting this light to the ceiling using this and this part from the C-stand. So basically what I've done is that I've used this angle and then I'm gonna bolt this to this angle. And then I'm gonna attach the angle somewhere around here and then we're gonna have a swiveling light here in the office. I haven't tried this out, so I'm not entirely sure if this is gonna work, but if it does, it's gonna look really good. I think. Didn't exactly work as I thought it would, so we're gonna have to do some adjustments. This is gonna make the whole construction way stronger because now we have approximately one centimeter thick steel that's gonna hold up the weight that the angle is gonna take. So hopefully this is gonna work a lot better. This feels way more sturdy than before. I mean, it can basically hold my body weight like this, so <sighs> that has to work. <laughs> Hey, look at that, it worked! So now I have a completely swiveling light here in the office that I can adjust to my own liking depending on where I'm actually shooting the video. And this is gonna make things so much easier whenever I wanna have like a top-down shot or anything similar and don't want to have like a C-stand in the way. And the way that I attached this was that I set this on the C-stand and then dragged the cable like in the roof and then attach the like power source of the Nanlite to the pegboard and then added a outlet, I don't know what you call this, like power brick maybe? Right here so that you can connect things that are on the pegboard easily, which is great. And this also allows me to like connect the pavo tube so I can shard them while they are in place. And to be able to control this light as I want, I've also connected it to a remote. So when I press off on the second one, bam, it turns off and then turns on. I'm also gonna get like one of those lanterns for the light so that it's gonna give us a little bit more soft light because right now I'm just bouncing it off the ceiling to make sure that it brightens up the overall office space. And I've also finished up this pegboard right here. So I have the power drill, uh, some duct tape, and then some, uh, what do you say, like tool accessories for the power drill as well. And then the charger for the power drill here on the pegboard. So everything is gathered. And it basically feels like everything has its place here in the office right now. Something that I've always wanted to have here in the office though is to have a place where I can like rest, relax and take it easy and just like, you know, gather my thoughts and uh, have a little bit of a power nap. So I did this. I now have a hammock right here in the office that doesn't take up any space at all. I really need to get a softbox for this light because it is really harsh, but it'll have to do. So one of the reasons why I have been doing so much DIY stuff here in the office and trying to optimize the space is because I actually thought about moving and trying to find a different studio instead of staying in this one. But I kind of realized that that would cost a little bit too much money in the long run because this right now I'm having a really good rent and since I built this up from scratch, like I'm able to do whatever I want without thinking about the result and like what anyone is going to say. And that is also why I kind of want to stay here in this office for a while, at least until like me and Amanda has found a house or an apartment that we can move into so that we know where we are going to live in the future. Still brewing the coffee, by the way, because I think it's too expensive. Just give me a second. There we go. Way more quiet. Even though I like to have the AC here in the office, it is way too loud. Do you know why I don't have a coffee, do you say coffee machine? Or like coffee brewer 
Kaffebrygge, we say in Sweden. It's because I don't have any running water here in the office. I don't have a bathroom, not a sink, not anything like that. And that is the downside. So the reason why I thought about moving the office to begin with, it's because this place is too far off from where we live now. It takes me approximately 35 minutes to drive here. An ideal situation for me would be to have somewhat around like 10 minutes to the office and 10 minutes to go home from the office, mainly because starting from September 1st, I'm gonna be part-time home with Alexander. And then in the beginning of 2021, we're gonna send him off to, uh, what is it called? Like kindergarten, or first school, as we say here in Sweden. And then I'm gonna be able to not have as long as a commute to the office to be able to pick Alex up after the kindergarten and stuff like that, you know? So I kind of wanted to make everything more smooth. But with that said, it's also very expensive trying to find a good place in Gothenburg. So that is why I have been optimizing this space. And talking about money, I also sold my Sony A7R 3 Let me tell you why. It was not because it's a bad camera in any way, and it's not because the Sony A7 III is better, but I couldn't justify having the a7r3 in my kit anymore because I'm mainly shooting videos and not taking photos. I still love the look that camera produces when you're taking photos because it's totally unbeatable by the a7 III. But then again, the files are huge when you're shooting uncompressed RAW. I think like each photo is like 82 megabytes. Both cameras are really good and I would love to have them both in my kit. But since I pre-ordered the a7S III, I couldn't justify having all three cameras in my kit. Like there, there's no way I'm gonna be able to use like three cameras on a daily basis. Like two cameras, tops, three cameras, that's just like way overkill. So I thought it would be better to like send it off someone that has you know better need for it and maybe kind of use it for a couple of years down the line and uh, i can take the step up and like invest that money that i made from the a7r3 into the a7s3 and i have pre-ordered it i have pre-ordered sony's like digital small shotgun mic as well together with the 1635 G Master lens. And I'm currently shooting most of my videos that you see here on this channel on the 1635 F4. But usually when I'm here in the office, I try to shoot with my uh, 24 millimeter 1.4 G Master lens because that lens is still my favorite by far of all the lenses that I've used. Like it is so good and it gives you this professional look that I at least want to have in my videos. So if you're looking for a really good talking head lens, that is the lens that I highly recommend. But yeah, it's uh, gonna be time for me to jump into some edits, do some work. I just want to share my thoughts on why I sold my Sony A7R 3 and show you the different DIY stuff that I've done here in the office. And I also wanna say that I am super grateful to be in the position where I'm at. And being able to be in the position that I am right now is something that I never could have imagined like two years ago. It's, it's simply, do you say uncomprehensible? It sounds cool, so I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, it's 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 still weird. And to each and every one of you that are watching my videos, may you be new or may you be an old subscriber, I so appreciate you. And if you're watching this for the first time, thank you so much for being here. If you're a, one of you, like the, the regulars that always come to the channel, you rock, I love you. Take care, have a good one. Thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up and I would love to hear what you think about the A7S III, A7R III and all the different cameras that are released right now and which camera is going to be your primary camera for the future. So do drop a comment below. Thanks so much for being here again. I, how many times have I said that? I don't know. I'm just gonna take my coffee and go to uh, go to the hammer. Old man, old man Peter coming down. Here we go. Oh, Peter from Sweden saying goodbye. Also, if you're watching this right now, do drop a comment below if you would like to have like a detailed studio tour because there's been a lot of things happening since I made the last studio tour. So, yeah. Anyway, take care. Have a good one. See ya.